On the screen, you can see the function y equals 1 minus sine of x. This green curve represents that function. Our goal is to find the magenta area under this curve between x equals 0 and x equals pi. That area is calculated by the definite integral of our function. y equals 1 minus sine of x from 0 to pi. Before we calculate the integral, let's first plot the function y equals 1 minus sine of x, step by step. In order to plot it, we first need to find the values of sine of x over the interval from 0 to pi. Now, let's move to the next slide. Here, we'll take a closer look at how to find sine of x using the trigonometric circle. It is very important to note that if you're serious about math, engineering, or physics, the trigonometric circle is something you should really know by heart. It helps you see how sine, cosine, tangent, and cotangent change as the angle moves around the circle. Being able to visualize the sine and cosine in your mind at different angles on the trigonometric circle is one of the best ways to truly understand how to calculate their values without the need for memorization. Go to mathlive.com and open the trigonometric circle tool. It's an amazing visual learning aid. Spend few minutes exploring it. At 0 degrees, the sine is 0. At 30 degrees, or pi over 6, the sine is 1 half. At 45 degrees, or pi over 4, the sine equals square root of 2 over 2. At 60 degrees, or pi over 3, the sine is square root of 3 over 2. At 90 degrees, or pi over 2 the sine equals 1. At 120 degrees, or 2 pi over 3, it's symmetric with pi over 3, also square root of 3 over 2. And so on, we can tabulate these values to plot our function by hand. We create a table for x and sine of x. Then, in the next column, we calculate negative sine of x by multiplying the second column with negative 1. Finally, we calculate 1 minus sine of x, that's the function we're studying. Plotting it by hand helps you understand the curve deeply. Let's check a few points. At x equals 0, y equals 1. At x equals pi over 6, y equals 1 half. At x equals pi over 4, y equals 1 minus square root of 2 over 2. At x equals pi over 3, y equals 1 minus square root of 3 over 2. At x equals pi over 2, y equals 0 and so on, then, as x increases to pi, y climbs back up to 1. This simple sketch shows the overall shape of the function 1 minus sine of x over the interval from x equals 0 to x equals pi. Building the tables to plot the function by hand isn't required to solve the problem, but it's an excellent exercise to strengthen your mathematical intuition. It will make you more confident and precise in math, and help you excel in math, engineering, and physics. Now, we're ready to find the area under the curve. As we mentioned at the beginning, the shown magenta area under the curve is calculated by the definite integral of our function, 1 minus sine of x from 0 to pi. Let's expand the integrand. a equals the integral of 1 dx from 0 to pi minus the integral of sine x dx from 0 to pi. The integral of 1 is x, and the integral of sine x is minus cosine x. Since we have a negative sign before the integral, it becomes plus cosine x. That gives a equals x evaluated from 0 to pi plus cosine x evaluated from 0 to pi. Therefore, upon substituting the upper and lower bounds, area a equals pi minus 0 plus cosine pi minus cosine 0. Cosine of pi is negative 1, and cosine of 0 is 1. Substituting again gives area a equals pi plus negative 1 minus 1. Therefore, area a equals pi minus 2. Finally, let's verify it on mathlive.com using the integration module. We'll start by finding the indefinite integral, which serves to verify our hand calculations. As shown, the result of the integral is x plus cosine x, confirming our hand calculations. Let's now make it a definite integral from 0 to pi and evaluate it. We get negative 2 plus pi, or simply pi minus 2, 
which confirms our hand calculations as well. Now it's your turn to explore. Go to mathlive.com and try the function grapher, the trigonometric circle, and the other learning modules. Integrals, derivatives, complex numbers, vectors, quadratics, and more. Each tool is designed to help you see math in action and build real understanding. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe, like, and share Math Live channel and website with your friends. Together, we can help more students learn math, engineering, and physics with clarity and confidence. Thank you for watching.